I'm Susan. Welcome to Plateau Art Studio Art for Kids. I have another fresh month of projects. Let's see what we're going to work on today. Well, hi everyone. Okay, so today we have our snowflake mitten and as just a fun little project. So since winter's around the corner here, so um, I think we're going to get started. Now you can use uh, crayons, oil pastels, or colored pencils, whatever you prefer. If you're finding that you like to work with um, oil pastels better than crayons, then that's great. Then we can do that. So this is our little project. And when we're all done, I just want you to get a visual of what it's going to look like when it's done. And then we can just glue this little cute snowflake right on the mitten like you're out there catching snowflakes okay so you have one that looks like this that's just the mitten so I want you to take a white crayon or a um, oil pastel white and I want you to go over the lines and trace your mitten and then what I want you to do is take a pencil, a regular pencil, which I failed to grab one. Here we go. Um, there we are. And then I want you to make a pattern. Now a pattern is a um, <clears throat> lines or a shape or color that repeats. So it can be like here I have dots that I did here I've got triangles and below here I just made lines so I had stripes and then up here some little curved lines and again some big fat lines up here stripes and I put a heart on the thumb so so my pat so I have patterns everywhere on here so um, yeah so what I want you to do step one will be take your pencil and make your patterns on your your mitten so you can put me on pause while you come up with a pattern and again I'm gonna repeat that because a pattern is shapes lines and colors right now I want you to work with your lines and your shapes for on on your mitten all right, so put me on pause, you draw your design, and then come back to me and um, when you're ready, okay? All right, so now that you have your pattern drawn on your mitten, I want you to trace with a, it'll look like this when you're done with your white or crayon or um, oil pastel so then you're going to trace your patterns so all the pencil marks are traced okay so I'll work on mine and you work on yours okay. I hope you're having a good day Good day always includes art. <laughs> it does for me. <laughs> so, and, and take your time so you do a nice job because this is kind of the outline of everything that will will show. So if I go too fast, just always put me on pause until you get caught up to the next step. Everybody works at a different pace and has different skills for art. There's always room for learning. I still learn. I learn all kinds of things from different artists still. They might do some, have a different method of doing something that maybe is easier than a way that I do it. So I still learn things from different artists watching tutorials or going to a class okay now don't forget to put pencil marks or you can just draw with your crayon the arm so you think about what um, maybe you have mittens and what colors are in your mittens are they a solid color 
or do they have different colors in them? Do you have a favorite sweater or jacket that you could do the, the arm with? Like on this one, the sample. Like here I have that could be a red sweater or a red jacket. You know, that's, so think about those things and see if you have something that you like. You use all your favorite colors. Just try to make sure it's nice and bright. It'll be pretty that way. So, all right, so the next step, put me on pause while you finish your um, tracing your pattern with white crayon or oil pastel, okay? So then when you're done with that, you revisit me. And here, I've got a couple different designs. Can you see these here? So I did do a couple different ones, just so you see. They're really similar, actually. <laughs> so there's those. And then here's another one, too, that just has just lines and circles and, and dots. This one has dots and a wavy line at the bottom. You make yours any way you want. So there's that. Just thought I would show you that. All right. So, okay. So now I'm gonna go on to, to coloring. And I'm using crayons because uh, oil pastels and crayons will show up the best on this project. All right. So I'm gonna set these aside. And I started coloring this one. And um, again, please pause me. <laughs> this is a really easy project. So I'm just gonna kind of go right through it. So you pause me at any point you need to. All right, so I picked about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors. And I'm gonna stick with these colors so that I have all the same colors throughout my mitten that will bring the whole thing together. If you have like 13, 14 colors on there, it's your project, you do what you want, but it's a little nicer to repeat colors. It kind of goes with the movement and the pattern of color. So we have our patterns of shapes and lines but now I want to repeat my colors in a pattern through, throughout my whole mitten, and it'll just look nicer. So, let's see, I do have light green and dark green, and I'm gonna finish the bottom here. I'm gonna toss this, my little diamonds in here. And you can press a little harder. I've talked about coloring lightly, but we're coloring on blue paper. So um, um, you kind of want to press a little harder for the crayon and the colors to really show up well. All right. And then here I have my, I kind of took the colors from down here and here. So I have my, um, this is called green yellow. So I have my green yellow here and then my blue. So I have patterns throughout. And then my purple here. And of course red on my heart so what else do I need here I can do yellow or I haven't used oh I have orange here but it it doesn't show up really well as orange it's hard to almost tell between the red and the orange but um, that's okay I'm gonna go over this again and see if it shows up more take your time coloring do a nice job this should be something you enjoy and you don't rush through. I think I'll do um, the orange in here since I have red in my heart. So I will do orange. I 
And when you press a little harder, if your hand starts to get really tired, <laughs> you might be pressing too hard. There's a lot of coloring in this little mitten. And then I'm gonna show you how to, to draw snowflakes. <laughs> Everybody loves snowflakes. I love the snow. Do you like the snow? I love the snow. I used to ski a lot. Boys ski, they snowboard. I used to ski and they snowboard. Okay. When you press a little bit harder, you might get some little um, crayon wax flakes. <laughs> and so uh, you can kind of see them on there. I just gently wipe them off. Don't do this across your whole work because if you get big flakes on there if you're pressing really hard then you can get it can smear across okay so just be gentle with just kind of if you need to brush it off okay so there's that let's finish the heart and I know you're just kind of getting started with all the coloring but um, Put me on pause anytime you need to. On the blue paper, it's hard to tell these two apart. I have yellow and a yellow green, and they're really similar. They look almost like the same on the blue paper. Almost. There. And now I'm going to use these two colors here up here so I have the, the pattern of color repeating on from here in my little diamonds to the circles up here. So I'm going to use, turn this sideways and use some green. And that's part of repeating color as a pattern in a more complicated design like this for co repeating color. Try not to scribble, try to draw nice. I know it takes a lot of patience to learn to just sit and color. So hopefully you're enjoying that. All right, almost done. I see something. I spy a blank spot. <laughs> what did I miss? Do you see anything I missed? I do. I need to finish this. Little blue spot on the mitten here. What else do I need? I need the sleeve, don't I? Oh, I'm gonna do orange. Now, if I just do a nice kind of um, firm pressure without pressing too hard, I can get really good coverage instead of scribbling. So if I just press enough, I can get real good coverage there. I'm gonna go real light over this part right here. 
then heavier over here. And why am I doing that? See what this looks like. And it just makes it look more, instead of flat, it'll make it look a little more curved and give it some dimension. Like it's actually a little bit round, like your sleeve, instead of flat. So we'll put a little highlight in there. There, like that. Now, your snowflakes, those are pretty easy to draw. Um, you just start with an, an, like a plus sign, and then you can add two more, like that. And then you can go all the way around the mitten and add all your snowflakes. You make an X just as long as you have And you're gonna need your glue because we have a nice big snowflake to glue on. You can make big ones and you can make some little small ones in there. And then you just there. Boy, it's really snowing. <laughs> I wish it would snow here. I can't wait. Okay, so there we go. Now, if you want to get a little more complicated, um, here, let me take one of these here. And we'll do it here. So let's say you have some big snowflakes on there. No two snowflakes are really alike. You can actually draw some really fun little snowflakes like this. You can make them all a little different. Okay, you can have one like that. Maybe the center pieces are smaller on this one. And then you have some little crystals growing. I like making a branch. <laughs> so there's a couple little different ways to draw snowflakes. I think on the instructions, you do have a how to draw a snowflake. So that's just a couple little ones there. Let's see, let's try one more. Those are fun. So I'll do, oops, that was supposed to be about, that was supposed to be one more. little circles on those and so there's four points there and then I can do like this again it's like making a branch yeah so there's another one <laughs> you can kind of make them all up you can go um, uh, every time you start you can you can just use this pattern to start with and some of the lines can be shorter some can be longer or they can be all even like this one so um, there you have that so now this is the one I was just working on with you so um, now you're going to use a little bit of glue and I put in the kits I found some glitter paper um, if you have glitter at home, then yes, yes, yes to glitter. <laughs> you put a little bit of glue on it and sprinkle the glitter on, and then you can glue it to your um, your your mitten there. Uh, I did supply you with uh, some little glitter paper that I cut these out. And, but if you want to add more glitter, um, you can actually put some dots 
on your snowflakes, uh, dots of glue, and then sprinkle some glitter if you are a glitter household. So, <laughs> so not everybody has glitter, so um, you can decorate it any way you like that way. So I sure hope you had fun with this cute little project. Um, it is just ma mainly talking about our patterns and uh, you can take pictures and put them on my website, On go on my website and um, uh, click on uh, my email and send me pictures and I'll put them on the gallery. So I'd love to see pictures of what you have done. So have a great day, fingers crossed this winter for a little bit of snow so you can go out and catch snowflakes, okay? <laughs> have a great day, bye bye everyone. Hey, thanks for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the projects. I'll see you next week. I look forward to it. Bye-bye.